All right, hello. This is uh, about the reconstructive surgery on this doll. A couple of years ago, I was in Japan and uh, stopped by um, an Azone International shop. This is the, the logo of the company. Um, it's in Akihabara. My hotel was just across the river from the electric town and I went into this store that sells this kind of beautiful dolls and I picked one up for my daughter. The staff at the store, they were absolutely great. They helped me choose the right one for the age that had many different clothes and uh, choices. And it was all good, but the girl subsequently suffered an injury, so she broke an ankle. And now we're trying to repair it. Um, so I tried a couple of options. One is uh, this tester's glue. Um, the thing holds the uh, resin very well, but the broken pieces, they have very little contact area. So when uh, stuff is all dried and supposed to be maximum strength, it works initially well, but then when we put clothing on, so it has this kind of stocking, everything is fine up to a point until we put shoes on and the shoes are really neat and they're kind of very detailed. But when you start putting them on, the thing snaps out of place again. So we're trying to research now what are the options. So we, um, you know, we're short of ideas at the moment. So we'll keep you updated. So what I found yesterday is that there is not much info online about how to fix the ankles for these dolls. Um, so hopefully this behind the scenes would be helpful to someone. Um, one thing uh, that became apparent right away that actually the first obvious solution of filling the joint with super glue or any other adhesive is not a good idea. So I initially thought that as long as I can find the way to bond these resin pieces together, it would be fine. And actually, yes, several different uh, type of plastic cements worked uh, on, on this kind of resin. The problem is that when the joint is not moving, then these dolls are designed to be posable, so they, they are completely movable. Uh, so if the joint is not moving, it, the area that is uh, the plastic that's bonded together is really tiny. So even though the bond is strong, when you try to put um, clothes, or in this case, like a stocking or a boot on that foot, that's frozen in place, that the joint breaks again, so it, it just doesn't work. So what I ended up doing is I used this dental tool. I used it to uh, scrape away the super glue that kind of filled the movable joint and uh, that, that took a bit of time. And then the idea afterwards is to uh, create uh, a movement by um, taking a wire. I took uh, an electrical wire that I stripped from insulation and um, I think it's about like 0.8 millimeters about uh, in thickness. So I created a loop uh, around the peg in the joint. Uh, and then I drilled a tiny hole in the uh, broken piece inside the leg. So I measured the depth of that hole and it's, uh, I didn't have a metric um, ruler with me, but it's about one eighth of an inch deep. So I cut the wire precisely 
to that lens. Alright, so this leg is slightly longer because of the wire than the other leg, but it is movable. So I think this girl is going to be um, slightly an invalid, but still should be able to wear shoes at least. So the, the foot was slightly misaligned forward compared to the unbroken left foot on this doll but it's a, it's a really minor the, this is not a very precise assembly anyway uh, so when the clothes are on the the shoes are on you you cannot uh, see the difference so the another thing i found in the process of repairing this doll is that um, this uh, Azone dolls and well, the dolls of this kind, they are designed to po be posable, to kind of hold the pose that you put them on. And uh, people are really creative. If you search hashtag Azone doll on Instagram, uh, there are really neat photos when this uh, figurines are in the foreground and just using basic perspective, you can. Uh, take pictures with the real landscapes behind or um, anything you have in the office or room uh, so you can people also build in dioramas it's a uh, really creative and neat and kind of inspiring so my daughter and I um, have taken a few pictures and another tip for posing um, that there are stands you could use a plastic stand to to hold the doll in place uh, for taking pictures but that kind of detracts from uh, from the overall effect uh, they you can actually balance it and the, the doll can stand well certainly can sit uh, but for standing it the tip is to actually shift the center of gravity forward so if the uh, the figure is leaning back it's really difficult to balance but if it's kind of leaning forward then um, it, it works uh, fairly well so hopefully um, you find this useful the yeah the difficulty with this uh, accidents when uh, when the figurine breaks it's uh, every break is somewhat unique it seems from what i saw online so you need to figure out your own idea of uh, fixing this but um, my main takeaway was it's uh, the best practice is probably to try to preserve mobility of that broken joint as much as possible rather than just fixing it in place. Um, it, um, it will lose a lot of functionality if you do it otherwise. Um, and yeah, it's uh, also I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, to taking some creative photos with that. It looks like fun. All right, see you later.